<laughs> Welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. I love it. 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 Okay. 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 So a lot of situations is happening right now. So many situations. One is that this is actually number two. Right? Come on. Oh, hey. Welcome. 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 Hello. Welcome. Hi. Come on in. Good morning, so, Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Come on. So, it's an intro episode that we are doing. Okay. And, and then, and then you also, uh, the group. What would you guys call your group, by the way? What would you call your group? The, the collaboration group. Uh, connect to collaborate. Connect to collaborate. Right. That, that's it. So, the connect to collaborate meetings, there's got so many members, so we can't fit everybody in one room. Even with our advanced technology. <laughs> Even with 360, <laughs> we cannot. We cannot. Be, I mean, we could have. We could have. Right. But we. But, but it's, it's testing environment. Without being. Without yeah. Being much. We, yeah. We. We. We, nice. we. don't. We haven't typically. Uh, uh, there's not enough actually evidence of how this information really works. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We're, we're crossing we're, boundaries. So we're pioneering. You're saying we are. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are 100 percent pioneer. Okay. Correct. Cool. With regards to the, in my perception. Right. Right. It's the yeah. final frontier. Boom. Yeah. The, the final. final frontier. Frontier. It's the edge of the frontier. It's the edge. Not, not space. <laughs> we're right before space. Right. right before. What is space? That's right. It's what it is. It's dancing on that line. <laughs> Salsa dancing all the way down that line. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Okay, That's right. I want to learn how to do tango. Whoa! Oh, that's what, easy. Where did that go really? from? Absolutely. You know? yeah, I'm well, a salsa instructor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, I, I told you. Hey, the premium advantage. Now we are. I just came back from Argentina. Welcome back. Buenos Aires. Argentina. The birthplace of. Yeah, uh, tango, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, they are, it's so sexy. Oh, it is. It? Okay. Oh my okay. I've never been to Argentina. I was not aware. Most people. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. How long does it take to learn? Uh, that's, I mean, it depends on what your definition of learn is. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be able to just get by or yeah. to be able to be, look like you're, we're going to start paying you because you need to be, you know, on stage. Probably a long. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I was on a cruise sure. and, and uh, it started in Buenos Aires and, and, uh, and we we took Antarctica. That Antarctica. Was, oh, yeah. nice. Wow. Clean water, huh? Very That's cool. We found clean water right here. Yeah. Yeah. Very cold. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. Nice. yeah. We didn't get off the sure. ship. Could you see land? Could you see? Oh, of course. Yeah. You could. Nice. Very okay. close. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And and there were some scientists on board that talked about their research projects. Antarctica is oh. pretty. Uh -huh. It's getting more and more fascinating as they find stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's unbelievable what they're finding. What are they finding? What? Hold on one second. Li uh, life so forms. Really? What? Life things. forms in Antarctica? Absolutely. If yes. you did not know that, that's yes. when you heard it. The premium Un advantage unseen, for Robert. <laughs> unseen life forms are just learning. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 this is correct. I know about this. Oh, this yeah. is another thing. I'm learning so much. Yes. I learned so much. Okay, yeah. well, okay, well there, there's so much information out there. I can't filter what's true and what's yeah. not true. Yeah. So from two true. sources that don't know each other, that gives me a high probability of accuracy. That's right? right? That's yes. the And he teaches me to do the tango. And tango lessons. I'm in, in, an, in Antarctica on, on a cruise. So. Ooh, no, that's cold, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they, did, they, had, they did have tango lessons on board the cruise. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that joke. That was terrible. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. So, okay, okay. so we got tango lessons. We got life in Antarctica. Okay, and here's what else I'm looking for. Oh, wow. More stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I live in Bel Air. Bel Air, yeah. Um, I ran for city council three times. Oh, okay. But luckily, I wasn't elected. Okay, yeah, luckily. Right. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> Asian luckily. food in Bel Air. Luckily, what? Amazing Asian food in Bel Air. Where? Which one? Oh my God! All oh, there's, so, there's so many places. Oh, you're yeah. talking about Bel Air Boulevard. Yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah. Bel Air. Oh, 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 near, that, that's, near, near the yeah. Bel Air. Yes. Oh, you're talking about Bel Air, Bel Air. Bel Air. Got it. Yes. Old school Bel Air. Yes. Yes. It's a town of seventeen thousand people. That's right. And it's kind of landlocked. It can't grow anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. They've got Just their like own high school. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. They've got their own police department. They've got their own city council mayor. That's right. And uh, when I ran for city council, I wanted to make sure the police were trained in crisis intervention mm. because I have a son with a mental illness, and I didn't right. want people. Yeah, I didn't want sure. the police to come and, you know, sure. manhandle him and yeah. shoot him. Shoot yeah. first. Yeah, yeah got it. Nice question, Blaine. So I uh, so I went. I made an appointment with the community liaison, and I walked into his office, and I said, "Hey, I'm I'm running for city council. I'm wondering, do any of our police officers have training in crisis intervention?" And he goes, "Oh yes, ma'am. Our police chief and our assistant police chief have the training." I said, "Oh, okay, good. Well, so if I have a problem with my son, I can call and ask for one of them to come to my house to help me." And he goes. Oh, yes, ma'am. If it's between 8 and 5, Monday through Friday, they'll be oh, five perfect. minutes. Oh, man. Yeah, of course. Five minutes. Because wow. that's, Monday the times, that's the Monday time. That's the time. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. We're going to schedule it. 8 to right? 5. Okay. And I went, ooh. Uh, well, he doesn't live with me. <laughs> and he visits me on the weekends. Uh, so do you think any of the police officers that work on the weekends 
would be willing to take this free course yeah. taught by the Houston Police Department on crisis intervention? Mm -hmm. He said, probably not. I said, what? He said, we don't have any mentally ill in Bel Air. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I said, wow, you know, one in four adults will have a mental illness in their life. I would say all in all adults have a mental illness continuously. Again, what is your definition? <laughs> 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 That's a no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you know, in those situations... I, I, I You're right, though. In my opinion, I think everybody's a little... Yeah, I do, right. right? I, I, said, everybody is. I said, so, so the realtors all know not to sell a house to someone if they have a mental illness. Uh, and... And I said, you know, I've, I've lived in Bel Air for over 30 years. I don't remember signing something saying I wasn't mentally ill. And mm -hmm. if I come down with depression, how long do I have to sell my house and get out of town? Mm -hmm. Let me just wait. <laughs> uh, uh, don't, don't, don't let us know. That's why there's zero. <laughs> <laughs> don't let us know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you do some metros? Sure, sure. I mean, this time yes. we're talking about tango dancing. Yeah, we just, it just we just jumped into it. I know, it. I know, I know. It happens it a does. lot. It's it's this is what happens in those years. It's like, hey, 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 hey. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Really? Bring it really? Back. Okay, bring it back. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, so, okay, I'm going to tell you the story. Well, first tell us who okay. you are. Yes. My name is Susan Dale. Hi, Susan. Okay. I'm an Hi, Susan. author. That's my book over here. You can bring it over here. I'm an author. The, the gold book. I like it. And a speaker. Oh, that's not the cover. When did you write the book? Uh, when did I write? Um, four like, years ago. Four years ago? Oh, nice. Wonderful. Oh. Show to, to the camera? Yes. To the, yeah, to the audience. The audience. Put it right in their face. Cool. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And, and, I, and I wrote this story about going to the city council in yeah. Bel Air. Oh, the story's in there? <laughs> yes. Oh. And the story police... originated? No. But, uh, no, but it happened. And, and the police chief bought my book and he goes, did that officer really tell you that there were no mentally ill in Bel Air? He was wrong. I said, I know, I know. Of course, of course. But um, so I went to the police chief and I said, I have a problem. He said, what's that? I said, I have some other mental illness. He doesn't live in Bel Air, so you're good. <laughs> he didn't know what I was talking about. I said, but I just found out there's no one trained in crisis intervention who works on the weekend. So I'm not about to call this police department if I need help because I don't want my son shot. Mm. I said, do you think you could get some of your officers to work on the weekends to take this free class taught by the Houston Police Department. He said, I'll think about it. Yeah. I said, oh, thank you, thank you. You're so yeah. helpful. So then I walked across the street to the city manager and I said, we have a problem in Bel Air. He said, what's that? I said, we only have two officers trained in crisis intervention and they only work eight to five Monday through Friday. And I have a son with a mental illness who visits me on the weekends. Do you think you could call the police chief and have him get some of his officers trained in this free course? And he said, he said, well, sounds like a win-win to me. And he called them, and they all got trained. Nice. Wonderful. They all got trained. Yes! Awesome. So I thought, well, I don't need to run for city council. I, yeah, I got what got. I wanted. You got, you got the city manager yeah, in your back pocket. Awesome. Yes. Let's exactly. make things happen. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you got to speak up if you don't speak up. So where can we get a hold of your book? You can buy this copy. You can buy this copy. <laughs> you can go to Amazon. Yeah. And get a downloadable copy. Okay, cool. Or you can you can scan my business card yeah. and get a free you. copy. Okay. Looking at we can just look it up by Susan Downs the Mind, and then we'll be able to find it. We'll have a link down below yeah. in the description. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Minding the matters of the mind. Excuse me. Yes. Got it. A guide for anyone touched by mental illness gotcha. who wants to make a difference. Cool. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for that contribution. Because anybody that 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 that, that kind of doesn't know where to go. Uh, this is something that they could use, you know, from your experience. Absolutely. Come on in. You're welcome to the party. Right, come on in. Hi. All right, cool. So intros. Hey. Now, Miss Lisa. Yay! How are you doing? Hi. Good to, good to see you. What's going on? Talk I'm to us. Tell good. us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I am a independent personal trainer and health coach. I specialize with people who are barely getting started in their health journey. So if you don't really know what to do to get your health back in shape, um, I can help you with that. If you go to the gym and you walk around, you're like, I don't know how to use these machines. You know, I feel so like embarrassed or, you know, I can help you with that. If you go to the grocery store and you want to shop healthy and you're just overwhelmed by all the choices and you're like, is this really healthy or is this not? I can help you with that. So I am independent. I go to your home, so you don't have to go out. I will come to you. Oh. I will bring you um, 
supplies. I got um, exercise equipment that I will put together a regimen for you Ooh. based on your goals. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. So we're all about health and about knowledge and information and folks having the right information so they can achieve these goals. Mm -hmm. Asita, how long have you been a trainer? Uh, 21 years. Yeah. Yeah, I've been nice. a trainer for 21 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, Did you know this? So you know no, exactly I'm, what I'm talking about. No, he was not my trainer, no. No, we Wait, have to... Did it, you know that he was a trainer? Oh, I did not know he was a trainer. No. no. But we like to... That's part of the premier advantage, the, the field. Surprise! The vibe. No. We oh like to... Gosh. We like to... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we like to keep everybody on their toes. We don't know what's going to happen. You know. Especially with this oh guy. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. <laughs> I think yeah. everybody brings a little bit of that. That's right. Okay. Yeah. No, no, we're all about fitness and nutrition. Yep. And, and, you know, it's, uh, uh, I'm all about mind, body, but also spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Like yep. putting it all together. Right. Um, do you feel like that training is, uh, well, I guess my question is, do you feel like uh, when people are talking to you, when they're telling you their problems, do you feel like you're also like a therapist in a way? Do you feel like you're helping them kind of bring all their all of the every kind of put it together their fitness nutrition and their mind their, their souls yes, because being in fitness is not just about working out it's about your lifestyle it's about stress management it's about balancing your work life and your um you know home life um it's about eating so it's self-care so everything ties in together mm -hmm. it's not just about fitness physically so yes, I agree, and there are some times when they do need to talk to you, and then you need to tell them like certain things to kind of align their things. So yeah, sometimes I do feel like because fitness is a great stress relief too. Mm -hmm. And if you're letting mm -hmm. it all out, it's a good way to just let it all out, also yes, verbally. Because when I work, when I'm with my clients, they will talk to me about their families. They'll talk to me about their social lives, and sometimes you just need to listen, and they need that while they're working out. They will talk to you, and then. Get out with Sometimes people just need to vent, mm -hmm. you know, uh, right. when I was a, a fitness director, I used to have people always in my office, in and out of my office, but a lot of times, and I, and I taught trainers how to train, I taught managers how to manage things, like one of the things that I was like the best at, what I, people was like, man, how do you always do that, is listening, Listen. right, and, and I would have people in my office for hours, yeah. and my GM would come in like, hey, I need you to do that, I need you to do that, what, what were you doing over there for so long with that one lady? It's like, I just let her go. I let her vent. I didn't say one word for almost 45 minutes to an hour. And at the end of it, she said, thank you and walked out. You're right. You know, and she was about to cancel her membership. And now she not only renewed, she's buying personal training on top of that. Yeah. Right. And I didn't say one word. Oh. Right. So but it's it's making people feel comfortable, right. uh, understanding the nature of, of what it is that you're really doing, really touching base with. Mm -hmm. um, what are your like you said, your, your specialties, folks who are getting started? Yes. Do you have any other uh, specialties? Do you, is there any some sort of things that you kind of focus on within your programs? Families. Like, awesome. I like families Great. and also teaching the children. I teach them fun ways to exercise so that they can do it as a family and they don't, the children don't feel like they're actually exercising. Right. It's oh, fun for them. man. So, the I family know. just trains together, stays together. Yes. Yeah. So That's I'm, right. I'm, I'm actually uh, having to go through the solutions on my end with the coach. I'm like, hey, let's go work out. <laughs> and to me, that's a, yeah, that's a good time. I mean, yeah, like, so work out. You say, yes, when you, you want to work out, out like, oh, they don't want to work out. When when you say let's go play a game and you make it right. to where it's like exercise, they're yes. not gonna think that they're exercising. They're thinking yes. they're playing games. They actually, I need it actually a little bit more elevated. They actually know when I use the influx game and they're like, hmm. <laughs> 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 you tricked us. Well, you tricked us too much. You gotta be yeah. creative, man. You can't say, okay, the game is go over there as fast as you can. Go. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no. Like, you gotta get, you gotta creative with it. So don't bring a stop point. Don't bring a stop point to the game. No window. Yeah, we gotta go play. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's awesome. No, but even from like, for you're right though, with kids, keeping them like, keeping them focused for more than like, Oh, Five seconds, yeah, right? It's really small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I teach a strength and they want to go. Class what? For kids. Get out of town. Yeah, it's a do. And they range from eight to fifteen. Nice. And it is so hard, and it's an hour long. Really? Right? So it's so. And you go hard. to people's houses? No, this one I actually teach it at the YMCA. What? Which YMCA? In, what? In the Heights. No I'm kidding. I love the YMCA. I go to the one in downtown. Where's, where's, where's that one in the Heights? Oh, so you it's teach at kids? And and you do that at the Y? Oh, that's amazing. See this? See, it took all of this to find out about this class. All of this. <laughs> yeah. 
you know what I mean? It took all this. Yeah. Oh, okay, physical therapy. There's a class at the Y. The teacher yeah, so when, yeah. when they go, that. when those kids go, you know, their oh. their parents already told them like, this is you're gonna exercise. Okay, so, so they're already like, uh, yes. When they get there, they're like, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. And yeah, then be you know, games. when I Right. We, yep. First, you know, we do our little um, yes. warm ups and things like that. And then I tell them, we'll get through this and then we can play games. Oh. Well, a lot of times the games is like them running, yeah, and, right, right. you know, tags and things like that, gotcha. jumping and stuff. And then they're working harder doing those games yes. than they are the regimen yes, that I put right. together in the beginning, yes, which yeah. they don't know because they're having, having fun. fun. Right. It's a big yes. difference, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about having, making it fun. You know what I mean? And this is the nature of the education. The, the communication here is changing it around where it is fun. You know what I mean? As opposed yeah. to like, oh, um, hey, it's just normal. There's no conversation that we engage. So, so are these children out of shape? Like, are they fat? They're all they different types. Um, <laughs> of body types, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. different body types. For everybody. For yeah, everybody. It's for everybody. I mean, yeah. your body should be active a particular amount of time. Who right. knows exactly? I don't know. Cinco, right. how much active per day? One hour, two hours? Yeah. Kids so, kids should be active. Everybody's different. Oh, everybody's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just have to have some form of uh, um, a, a way to maintain your body because if you're not working out, you're eating, you're, you kind of become stagnant, your joints. Yeah. Kids are like, yeah, but if, if you don't build into them when they're little, yeah. as you get older, they get older mm-hmm. without having those those stops, start, start you know? yeah. running is fun playing is fun you know yeah so it's like my kids I have brainwashing yeah <laughs> it really is yeah. it I, is I was, building um, habits when my yep. my two sons were when they were young between yeah. eight and about twelve mm-hmm. we did we would exercise together mm. and now they're they're like in their early twenties. And they exercise by themselves oh, so, because yeah. that was built in. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so like when my kids, I have my daughter's nine. I have another daughter's 15 and my oldest is 21. So they all will know, like they're not always a board on, you know, the healthy eating and the exercise and things like that. But they have the knowledge, like I planted the seed yeah. in them because my youngest daughter, well, we can go grocery shopping and she'll look at something. She's like. Oh, this has this. That's not Sugar healthy curves. for you. That's not healthy for us. Yeah. You know, but she doesn't always want to follow it, yeah. but she has the knowledge there because yeah. I show them with my lifestyle and I teach them why it is mm-hmm. we should do it this way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Because mommy says that's, that's, right. yeah, <laughs> that's the number one reason I tell them. <laughs> that's, the end, that's the end of the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's the worst. The worst thing you can tell them is because don't, someone don't has, do as I do, do as I say. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. But you do have good habits. So yeah. <laughs> uh, when, when is this class on the wine? I'm gonna look it up. Oh, you're gonna we're gonna see you're gonna see us there. <laughs> so it's Wednesdays at five thirty, but right now we're we're taking a break till summer. Sure. We'll start back up in the summer. Oh summertime? Oh okay, that's yeah. okay. We got we gotta look at other things at five thirty. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll be following up on it. Cool, cool, awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lisa. What else? any more information that you'd like to share? This is amazing, thank you. Um no. Perfect. That's cool. It, it may come back. <laughs> it'll come back. come back. Yeah. Something else. Robert, what's up? Talk hey, to us. What's up? So tell us a little bit about yourself. Intro so the audience can meet you. Yeah, see who you so, are. All hey. Stuff. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, I'm Robert Gutierrez. So <laughs> I, I have a, uh, an IT company, kind of a just a regular technology company, IT, audiovisual. That's you know, that's my main driver. I've been building that for a few years now. Uh-huh. That's growing. Uh huh. Very grateful for that, and you know, getting busy doing business all over the country. Gotcha. And uh, and I'm you know I have partners in that, and so I'm I'm also diversifying a little bit, doing doing some things on my own, getting some little side mm-hmm. hustles going. Gotcha. So side just, hustles, man. Yes. I love that. Yeah. It's all yeah. about side hustles. Everybody's got side hustles since COVID. Yeah. Who's got a side hustle? That's right. You gotta, you gotta have side hustles. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know, because this is uh, a side hustle for sure. For sure. Side this is side what you think a lot That's of nice. effort goes into building this company, right? yeah. so you got to have other Hell yeah. other opportunities, oh, yeah. right? other things, right? You got to diversify a little bit. Mm-hmm. Plus, I have yeah. partners, right? right? And right. So, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, and then we're you know we're really structured. The way we built this company is very structured. So yeah, so for me, I'm always looking to do other things, yeah. right? And so uh, keep things interesting. Correct. And this this company, I've partnered with uh, Safe Streets. Mm-hmm. They're part of ADT, yeah. and really my 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 main company really only serves the commercial space. Okay. Right. We're really only taking care of companies. If someone, if if a customer that we really like wants us to help them at their home, I have the people who can do that. But it's not really our core business, you know. But of course, if someone asks us, we're gonna you know we're gonna assist. Service. So we've done a few we've done a mm-hmm. few homes. Uh, but not not really what we want to do, right? We're just really busy with the commercial space. But for me, I like serving, mm-hmm. you know, the residential space. So I partnered with Safe Streets, a part of ADT, and I'm really bringing the home security. My the 
the, the core driver of my IT company really is security, right? So cameras, access control, and, um, and anything that goes along with that, right? We're always building networks. We're always um, putting APs in, right? Uh, so we're doing a lot of that type of work. And, um, and the, the actual people I have are actually pr pretty talented. And so, um, you know, so I always wanted to serve the residential space. And that's why I partnered with uh, Safe Streets and ADT just to, you know, to bring that home security to that market. Gotcha. So yeah, nice. and so that, that's just started. So yeah, okay. it's, it's already starting to take off. Oh, so, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. What, what intrigued you about this market? I mean, I, you understand that it's matching and you kind of have some familiarity, but like, Correct. what intrigued you? Yeah. What, you know, where, is, where, where do you <laughs> see like, man, this is what I like about this market that I, that I feel like where it's going. Well, I mean, you know, security is interesting, right? So as things get a little tougher, well, I mean, let's be honest, crime sure. was going down tremendously in the United sure. States, right? We, you know, from the early 90s up until really 2019, crime was going down, sure, down, sure, down, sure. down right? Um, and then, you, you, you know, those stats, I mean, you know, within a few years, crime sure. was going to, sure. you know, almost hit the zero. But of course, 2020 happened, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of craziness came into the world. A little. Right? And so, you know, we can, we, we, a we, little. We, you know, we can get real clean in the right? podcast. <laughs> exactly. Right? COVID happened and then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. COVID right? and then. Yeah. And so, COVID. well, you know, and then, you know, the media is spinning a lot of division, right? Really, right. you know, really putting people on edge. And if yeah. you're kind of a person that really is into the media, really is into getting your information, you know, from those type of sources, sure. you're you're actually going to believe it, right? You, yeah. you actually you're actually right. going to believe what you see. Because they just put, kind of put out what they want you to know. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like most people, if you tell them that crime from the early '90s until 2019 was was crashing, right? They'll be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Exactly. Uh, no, I mean the, that's the, not what they're hearing. Correct. Either. Right. The world is up, uh, up until 2019, and even still, the world was the safest as it's ever been in the history of humanity. Wow. Uh, you know, very recently. And so, but now things are kind of turning a little bit, right? And that that should get corrected, but but for this moment, it's being used as a good tool, right? All this, you know, all this, you know, extra crime. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So there's a nice market there, right? There's a nice, yeah. you know, tragedies. You nice know, tragedies. Well, you know, <laughs> news great. of tragedies, it, news yeah. of stuff, really drives this market. And mm -hmm. um, you know, and and the truth is, home video surveillance is a big deterrent. Right, so if someone's going to go to somebody's house that doesn't have cameras, that doesn't have an alarm system, that isn't being monitored. That house is going to. I I think this is the the stat is sixty percent more yeah. homes get get robbed and get you know stolen when they don't see that there's some type of home security. So that's yeah. kind of what what drove mm -hmm. it, right? I sure. knew that the market was there. The opportunity came up to partner with Safe Street. They actually approached me, and so um, so I made it happen. Gotcha. Great. Okay. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like there's definitely a lot of folks that as um, as new homes get built, mm -hmm. as uh, new areas get developed, right. as kind of unforeseen circumstances come up. Sure. It's sure. nice to have a solution for somebody that could be like, hey, okay, hey, we we know we know what you're right. looking for. You want to be able to see everything. You want to have Correct. everything around. You know this. This is what you want to look for, right? Well, this is the speed that you need. This is the gear that you need. But if you're not looking for all that, then this is other stuff. So it's cool. the best solution. Well, you know, and and the technology, like like technology really is happening, is just growing exponentially, right? Yeah. So where the before there was a sensor, if someone broke your window yeah. or opened your door, someone would go, hey, there's an alarm, and you'd have somebody at a call center call, call, call the police, right? Yeah. Now they have access to your cameras, right? They can see mm -hmm. what's going on. Now there's sensors, right, that can sense if there's a fire, sense if there's THC, sense if there's volatile chemicals, right? And they actually can, can, can get an alarm and, you know, so, you know so, someone can call somebody, right? So you're actually not just like with a ring doorbell, which, you know, which I have on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Right? I got it's one, just, one, I got right? It's, it's nice, right? Someone someone notifies you. Sure. But combine that with, with live monitoring. Tell you what, tell you what. Cameras, I'll tell you what. Since you're talking, all this, you're talking all this knowledge, I'll tell you what. I got four ring okay. cameras okay. right now. Okay, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> I need to install, install these. Okay. Where's the button that I click? For your solution to come and help a yes, person like yes. me. So, <laughs> you want it done? You want one of those? I got uh, two kids. Yeah. <laughs> all for you? I got right. four cameras. Right, right. <laughs> two kids, four cameras. <laughs> so, Perfect. So, Where do we go? So, so I do have a website. It's a little bit long. So it's sure. probably, yeah, so it's probably not going to be remembered. Send us a link. It'll be the same. We're going to put it in the description. Yeah, yeah, just click it. Down, down below. It. Yes, exactly. So there'll be a website. I'll get you that description because sure. it is safestreets.com forward slash. Forward slash. What? Yes, exactly. Forward slash. Oh, exactly. oh, you know what you should do? What? 
buy a domain name and I'm, then I'm just... not allowed to. What? Oh! I have to use their oh, free... Yeah. The nature, yeah. Yeah. Is the nature right. of this. The nature of this as solutions come up. And, 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 and it's been working. Around. You know, so that I've, I've been able to drive business there. So, okay. so it has, the, the real thing with this is that... Um, you know, driving business, dr driving traffic to that website, having people, sure. you know, on site with a QR code. Yeah, yeah. What matters is they get to the solution. Correct. 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 Yes. I'll I'll provide you all the link and, yeah, and, yeah. Hey, and this is what you need to go to. And here's the thing: from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m., yeah. there's live operators oh, okay. that actually will talk to you. Oh, okay. So you actually do sign so up. So right now, I can somebody's call. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Yeah. You 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 call my number, mm -hmm. right, and they'll answer. And there's you call me, live and then he picks up. You hear that, thieves? <laughs> Don't come in my house from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Because I gotcha. Oh, after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the deal. That's the deal. So. That's awesome. So that's 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 hey, folks, folks, go to our website. The matter is the solution. They go to our website. You go to the website. You set up your taxes. I, I'm not setting up the appointment. The system is there to get your solution for your taxes to get that. Right? <laughs> I have a question. Right. How do you feel about overall surveillance? Like the whole, like the way China's doing it, the way the United mm -hmm. States would like to do it, sure. can, you know, control sure. us, the whole, how do, you, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, that's been, that's been coming, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah the whole Snowden thing. Right, well, even going back to the, you know, going back to the late 90s, some, some of us might not remember this movie, but I in the Sky with Will Smith. Right, yeah, and so, uh, yeah, I remember that. Big no, it's guy, it's, uh, it's, uh, I need to watch it again. Yeah, but, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What are we looking for now in this one? Now? So this this movie talked about, you know, back in this movie came out in '98. Will Smith, G Gene Hackman, Enemy of the State, Enemy of the State. Okay, very good movie, Check it right? Out. Where these people had a lot of control, right, over over your life. Even certain words. That's the first time I heard about certain words. Triggering a computer, right, and actually mm. oh having goodness. people start to look at you. Can you imagine well, how much we it's have advanced? that now? Oh, right. Then, exactly. Yeah, yeah well, we're going to get tons of ads right now correct. after we walk out. Hey, don't be getting us cash. Don't be getting us cash. Exactly. She's not talking about you know who. <laughs> we just got momentum. And then you're going to get us cash. So, with you know, <laughs> with some <laughs> reason, you know, there's certain areas where it's really good, right? Because you actually can see. Like what? What happened there, right? What actually happened before we would have been clueless? Like it would have been great to have one in Wuhan when when, when everything was going out, right? Yes. Like why weren't you surveilling them? Okay, we're now the about show Wuhan? is going to be canceled. Can, 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 no, we've been talking about Wuhan. Let's go to yeah. surveillance and then exactly. we'll go to Wuhan. Yeah. So I mean, it's um, good thing my phone's not here to spy on everyone. Right. We're all, we're all, we're all gonna pause. Wow. We got a 360 camera. We're gonna pause this. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, the surveillance is a. Is a catch twenty two. Right? Okay. One one thing is it's beautiful to have that imagery <laughs> and be able to catch something that when it really happens, right? On the other hand, you know how's it uh, how's it being abused? Really? Right. right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, because you know, right? Yeah. You know there are times when something's happened. Maybe a camera at somebody's home didn't catch it. You know, but those street cameras did. Yeah. Right. But you know, and you're like, okay, well now city government whomever use that video and let's find out what's going on. But they don't use it. Right, so they kind of just let certain the cop cams that they don't necessarily right. choose to use. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, it's very interesting. So what's the answer? It's just catch twenty two. We're just gonna have to just you know just have to behave yourself. Well, I mean, just, what you know? And hey, it's like oh, the Minority no, no, Report. No, no, Correct. Remember that Dude, movie? That, that's a, that's an amazing movie. Yeah. Right? And so, um, you know, I will tell you, for, for example, uh, in in my commercial business. When we install cameras, for example, in schools, parents want cameras in schools. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal, right? Sure. When we install cameras in schools, the behavior changes. Those kids behave way better. Oh, yeah. You install cameras in a business because something was going on. Someone was pilfering uh, tools, hardware. Someone was stealing a fridge, something food from the fridge. That stops. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so even, even, even simple things like that, right? The behavior does modify. Now, to a certain extent, you want people to be that, uh yeah, the video surveillance yes, on, on all the time, yes, right? right? So, okay. yeah, it is a, it's definitely a catch-22, and we're talking about behavior modification, right? How people do act differently, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, now, at the end of the day, if someone's going to do something dumb, they're going to do something dumb. It's not going to matter whether their camera's That's because they're dumb and they don't know. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, or they don't know they, they don't care, don't care right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, pe people commit crimes in sure, front of yeah, police yeah. It, it does, all the it does. time. We, yeah. have, we have that situation, uh, you know. Yeah, I did that once in New Orleans. People were it doesn't matter. Yeah, once, yeah. Did they pull you from a corner? Yeah, like, yeah. I was about to, I was yeah. about to pull all my clothes off, yeah. and the cop was like, "Hey, stop yeah. what you're doing right there! Yeah. I'm about yes. to arrest you." I was like, "Oh yeah, I know you're Thank you, <laughs> thank you for giving me, 
Thanks for not letting me take my clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, 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 for one bead. Right. For one bead. For one bead. For one bead. It was like a good one. It was one of the big ones. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Anyways. So, anyways, so it's yeah. Behavior does change, and I have noticed that firsthand. Right. So, so it is beneficial when it comes to certain situations like that. I think in private. Overall, though, in where in a private business, private, you know, schools where parents want to be able to see their kids, they, I, I think those are very important, yeah. you know, places where you can have them. In society in general, I don't know, right? We'll see. Now, the satellites, they say, they say, they, they say, who says that? They say, who's they? An evil bond. Well, bond. well, you know, hey, I, uh, and this, and, and this might get us canceled, right? So I heard... <laughs> I, I, oh, I, no, if I it turns off when you say it, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right well, <laughs> well, well, it's very interesting. Even, even 20 years ago, I heard that there's satellites that are powerful enough that they can actually like tattoo a shape in a in 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 a crop, right? So, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. so instead of it being like some. UFO oh, no. thing. You brought the wow. conspiracy theory. Say, you get everything exactly. in this show. Yes, yeah. You get you know, everything. It's actually a pretty powerful <laughs> satellite <laughs> that can <laughs> that can do something called tattooing, right? So, yeah. So those satellites. Robert, Robert, Robert. I know those those, those satellites. So sad. I uh, shaved my beard off. Yes, I can't do this now. Yes. Those, <laughs> those satellites. Uh, who, who knows what they can do? Now, That's right. right. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> right? There, there, there's stories that you could be sitting on a park bench reading your phone. So like you read okay, it. so why wow. why did they get rid of the red light cameras? Because the, the idea was that they were passively monitoring you. And yeah. if you created a crime without... They, the, the idea is in, in, in Texas, they want a policeman involved, mm-hmm. right? So as opposed to just... You know, because right, they were finding you, with, you, they were kind of finding you guilty without a trial. Correct. To be honest with you, right? but you, but they had the proof. Yeah. They had the light. They had uh, yeah, but you, but, but, yeah, but that process was not established as a, as a, as a, as a. I mean, but they did take, take a lot of money. That's right. Uh, that's so right. it's not like it's not like so it's, that's kind of idea. I'm kind of against those cameras. Right? Yeah. I think if there's going to be something committed, you, you know, I mean, I'm I, I'm against those red light cameras. I yeah. kind of liked them. Yeah. I mean, I got a ticket. Yeah. I, got, I, had a, I had a budget. You got a ticket. Hey, there's hey, there's a Sam bunch of times. Because yeah. they will catch you right at the line and sometimes they will catch you whenever you will make a right turn. You know what right. I mean? And it's right. like, hey, but and you, no, you can't bite it. Well, yeah. All right. Well, okay. so. Did you know that when I do see a camera, whether if it's running or not, yeah. I do tend to drive a little bit better. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. But, but I want the freedom to be able to take the light without getting 100%, 100%, arrested. 100%, like, what if there's yeah. nobody here? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Sure, there's sure. nobody here. I'm like, come on. I should be able to take the light. Let me just go. Correct. You know, Correct. Or what if it's malfunctioning? Like, am Correct. I gonna, am and there's a police officer. Got, How long do I have to wait? I don't got right. told money. I just, I'm just I just want the freedom to be I'm able to break the law in a situation where it's warranted. 100%. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, you know, things, I feel... Well, we do have freedom now because those lights aren't working. Those Boom! Yes. Everybody, go yes. for it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Ha ha. This is the Tito. Ha ha. Tito. Ha ha. Tito. Dot com. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Very funny. Yeah. So that's the that, that's the thing, right? I mean, that for, freedom is the biggest thing, right? Freedom over everything. I, mm-hmm. I say. We but don't I'm, have freedom. What? Freedom okay. is and privacy. I mean, privacy. Yeah. Hey. Privacy. Hey, so you don't want the so freedom. Room. For hey, freedom over. Safety, health, and security? Uh, I say yes. Okay. That's too long of a conversation. We got like five minutes. There we go. We got to do one responsible control. adult? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. But the problem is most people aren't responsible yeah, adults. It's a big deal. It's a big communication. That's the problem. It's a big communication. I mean, so, um, yeah. especially when you take it to the masses, you can't put in a general rule for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to, you know, city, you know, you have to be uh, small with mm-hmm. the person. Mm-hmm. Local environment. Right. Where's your local environment talking about? All right. So, so freedom over health, safety, and security, maybe. Freedom of speech over... Misinformation, disinformation. Uh, I'll tell you a big no, question. Can we introduce this yeah. back? Can we introduce this back? Uh, I mean, so let's talk about Houston City Beach. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so, and, and the runway. Yeah. Oh, let's back. We, we, we can have different conversations. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great topic, though. That's, exactly. That's right? so, you know, yes, I yes. should have let you know that Robert is a bit of a conspiracy theorist. Ah, hey, I'm good. I'm just alt- I'm just alternate hidden history. That's it's what cool. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I don't so talk about just keeping your options open. I, I don't talk about conspiracy. Oh, there you go. Alternate, I talk about alternate hidden, hidden history. Everything is true. Yeah. We learned about be. this. The yeah. truth is subjective, the, right? The, the quantum reality is two things can be the truth. The exact same thing 
That's can be two things. And right. the now, winner gets to write the history. The, which that's is why right. the cameras yeah. are pretty. Yeah. 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 Or the one that is spelled better, I can write better, gets the most books out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's or the one who's the most connected. And so yeah. Yeah. Most books yeah. out. Don't forget. Pick up your <laughs> copy. <laughs> my name, it's the matter of the month. It's all true. Susan Downs. That's right. There you go. So, that's the... That's the interesting thing, interesting. right? Yes. Interesting. So, Miss Lisbeth, Marquez, a little intro. She's, she's here. Yeah. Enough of me, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Where do I accept my award? Academy Award, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 I'm putting that into the, oh, thank That's you. Right. Thank right. you. So, oh, yeah, what is it here? Is this vodka? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tequila. Tequila, Mexican. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of my supporters. So, so we're live right now? Or we're live? Yes. I mean, we're all, I'm alive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We do make so, a live, but the live no. comes with a little bit of a, of, of a ah, breaking feed. Gotcha, so right gotcha, now it's, okay. it's, a, it's an edited version. Okay. But I'm not going to edit nothing. It's going to go. Gotcha. That's right. Cool. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, oh so, okay. So this, so this is the live. Okay, good deal. So, miss. So freedom of speech over misinformation. No. <laughs> Still gonna get aired. I don't think I understand the grasp of how the concept is gonna look. Oh my gosh! Look, I don't want my friend Robert to get arrested. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep Robert out of jail. Yeah, so, really so uh, my name is Lisbeth Marquez. I'm yeah. with Houston City Beat, and we are an online media company. Um, our whole spin is to take. Uh, we go out and create stories. Um, share stories about what's happening in Houston mm -hmm. and we wrap it around uh, local businesses that want to advertise. So uh, my long-term vision is, um, it didn't start out that way, but over time, and I don't know, did y'all meet Mike? Mm -hmm. We did. Okay. Ooh. So Mike Acosta. <laughs> Ooh. Ken? Michael Acosta. So, um, is, is, everybody knows is, Mike. Come on. Is he in your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard of that guy. I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. So we, uh, we're, we're working together. We're using his talent to yes. really bring in awesome this amazing video editing skills. Amazing. He's fantastic yes. at the videos. Yes. 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 He makes me look like, like an actress. So I'm ready. Right. Yeah. To accept my Academy Award. <laughs> yeah, you look yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. yeah, for sure. Thank you look you, great. You. He's you. doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. 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 awesome job. Yeah. You both are doing it. So it's, it's the awesome. transformation is amazing. And uh, we have this program that we're we're launching called Back the Badge, Back which Badge. is speaking of security cameras, um, which Back the Badge is all about supporting and sharing about the local stories that the police departments out there are are doing, the things that they're doing in the community, the positive nature of what they do out there. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know if Good. Mike talked about that. And then we also have um, Celebrate Hue. It's celebrate actually Celebrate You, you but H-O-U. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, what that's clever. about, so isn't it clever? Mm. It's all around this Houston <laughs> subject. Yes. Um, so Celebrate You is about sharing a local stories about your business like what are you're opening up a new location the other day we went to see philip barrington he's a financial advisor with edward jones and um Man, what we a went name. out there Jeez. Barrington. Philip yeah. Barrington. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> With the pipe. <laughs> right. That's yeah. Powerful. He's he's Barrington. a great guy. So um, we went to do a uh, he did a grand opening. We went to film it, and that's going to go into our our third edition of Houston City Beat that comes nice. out on Thursday. Nice. Great. So, How often are you releasing? How often are you releasing? Every two weeks. Right wow. now, we're every two weeks. And the artist will she be in this episode as well? Um, Cassandra. Cassandra. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Bone. I uh, can't remember her third name. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's a weird um, name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra Bode, damn it. Yes, <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, I can't remember her third name either. Cassandra, yes. but if, if but I Cassandra. had my phone, my Sorry, other Cassandra. brain is we not apologize. here. It's in another room, yes. so I, I can't mm -hmm. access it right but now. I apologize to Cassandra. Yeah, um, my apologies to Cassandra. I had to repeat her name like 10 times, and I was getting it wrong mm. constantly. It layered, was, it. layered bone or bone. Layer, or yeah, lo oh, L-O-E-R-N-E. Something like that. Cassandra... Bone Lorne? Lorne? Lorne. Okay. Lorne Lenar. Lenar, thank you. Do you know Thank her? you. No, Cassandra. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> you spelled it. You spelled it. That's how I Her name it. is Cassandra Bone Lenar. Okay. okay we got Cassandra it. Bone Lenar. Thank, thank you. I just looked her up. Is she French or from Louisiana? Uh, she, I don't know. She's, she, I don't know. sorry. I'm she's, not sure. she's Latina oh, okay. partially she Latina. and then mixed in with oh. other stuff. Yeah. She oh. married this gentleman from London and she. She's an artist. She does these artist, beautiful yeah. clocks that have butterflies on them. Mm -hmm. The butterflies are all sustainably sourced. They're real oh, butterflies. And they're real sourced. butterflies, oh, and they come from all over the world. Yeah. And 
They're wow. gorgeous. Cool. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, that's real. So we did an okay. interview with that's her. We're, we're, yeah. we're featuring um, my uh, my friend from Edward Jones on there as well. Oh, is that it? Show so that's others. one of the... Um, cool. That's pretty. It is. <laughs> Um, so that's it. We're just creating content out there and um, Collabor- featuring. How would somebody get in touch with y'all? How would somebody go and find y'all? Like how how could somebody engage For with sure. uh, collaborate uh, yeah. situation with us? So, you can engage down below. We have the links. We have yeah. the descriptions. How do they engage with y'all? So right. you can find and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> you can find Houston City Beat. Go to HoustonCityBeat.com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. Yep. You can find us on Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, you can send us an email, info at HoustonCityBeat.com. Find us on the satellite. And yes. Uh, <laughs> Look up. Uh, so you Wherever you go. <laughs> so my, my personal email, and don't send me spam, Liz, L-I-S, as in Sam, at HoustonCityBeat.com. And that's the best way to get in touch with us. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool. Okay. So you have okay. all kinds of different ways. And I really appreciate you opening the space to allow connect to collaborate to come here and and share with all these beautiful people all these houstonians thank you and uh, thank you all for being such great supporters of what we're doing out here thank you for everybody yeah. coming here today our You're co-host welcome. mr ha ha so- <laughs> dude with like oh wow and we're going so the, the really oh yeah hey what's up so <laughs> Mr. Jacinto, what's up, baby? Tell Jacinto.com for all your super funky fresh gear. Uh, don't forget, folks, we always have events, and our next event is going to be the second Saturday. Okay. So every second Saturday, we have an event for the artists who were displaced at the Winter Street Studios. If you don't know, there was an unfortunate fire there. A lot of the artists got displaced. Mm-hmm. The wonderful folks over at Bad Astronaut has taken us in and let us have the second Saturday event there. So every second Saturday of the month, we're going to be over there. And also the next brunch comedy yeah. show. Woo! Everybody's invited. Brunch yeah, comedy show. All of y'all are invited. The brunch comedy show part four is a really special one because we're gonna have pan dulce. Ooh. Yes. Pan dulce. Oh yeah, that's the name of our comedian. No, okay. no, no, no. I'm kidding. No, actual pan dulce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe it's like. Yeah, Although I can, I need to, I need to yeah. Uh, yeah. take that name. That's yeah, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good name. Uh, uh, look at the magic. Look at the magic. So go to uh, brunchcomedyshow.com for more information. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Cool. cool. <laughs> Is there anything else before we close out with regards to the information yeah. that you guys would like to share with the audience? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I have something. Sure. Yes. Um, I am on a walking team. Uh, we walk one mile uh-huh. for the NAMI, uh, the NAMI walk. It's May 20th. It starts at the Sam Houston Park. The race and, park. Uh, okay. No, no, no. The, the downtown, downtown. Oh, downtown. Where the okay. houses okay. are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to raise money. For the NAMI. Okay, uh, so you have, NAMI, you're looking for sponsors for NAMI? Yeah, yeah. And NAMI cool. stands for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Okay, oh, that's good. Great. So great. They, great. there'll be about 3,000 people there. Okay, wow. when is the event? May 20th. May 20th. And May 20th. it starts at 7 in the morning. It'll gotcha. be over by 11. Gotcha. If you want to be a sponsor. Sure. Or if you want to have a table there. Sure. And, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. That'd if you could, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds amazing. NAMI. You know, we, we do things like that. Uh-huh. And so what I would say is send the link uh, in the connections. Right. Put it uh, so we'll, uh, we have an event calendar for uh, yes. that we use. It's an interactive calendar where we put the link how to get the ticket, to get how to get the sponsorship, when the event is, nice and informed. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's one walking, of the things that we offer here. Walking is super important. Super Going important. back to fitness and nutrition. <laughs> yeah. Are y'all familiar with Blue Zones? No. Mm-hmm. So a blue zone, this is really cool, you should look it up. So a blue zone is a place in the world that people live over a hundred years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, there's, the there's, world, there's yes. about six yes. or seven, something right. like that. Right. Um, one is Loma Linda, California, right. where a friend of mine used to live. But yeah. anyway, um, a bunch of hundred there. There's, a, a, there's a whole bunch of them. They they live exactly, like centurions, right? Yeah. So yeah. The, the I saw a documentary recently where they were going to all of the blue zones yes. and trying to find out just kind of the... The similarities. What the yeah. Yeah. This, one of the biggest ones was walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of the people said, and, and almost and one of the guys was like 115 or something mm-hmm. like that. Oh, and he's one they, of those people around. No, wow. yeah. And he and in the documentary, he's like, "Hey, do you want to go for a walk right now?" And they're like, "Yeah." So he's like, "Hold on, let me go change." He comes back with a suit, mm. <laughs> a suit, because 
that's his thing. He's going to walk around town. Everybody's going to see him looking dapper, Gone. looking good. Gone. But yeah. inside, inside, he was yeah. also torn because his wife had died oh, no. a long time ago. So he's there by himself. So he's like, I'm so depressed. I'm so sad. But every day I go and I make mm. these walks in my suit and it feels wow. nice. And my neighbors say hello. Yeah. And that's what keeps him going. Oh. Right. But it's all about walking mm. and, and, and the community aspect. The, obviously, the nutrition, the air, there's no surveillance there. Right? So, <laughs> Ain't nobody watching me. Anymore. Yeah. So, anyway, it's, uh, I'm, I'm so, so happy that you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, walking is super important. Yeah. So, thank you okay. for that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thank you guys next time. Bye bye.